Daily Broadside, day 72. Who in the hell is still buying the National Enquirer? And for that matter, who bought it in the first place? I've never seen one adult in this continental United States ever pick up one of those things other than to look at it while they were in line and then actually bring out money to pay for it. How are they still alive? That doesn't make any sense. And why does no one remember in the 80s when Wendy's had dumplings? They had uh, some kind of like, it was like a cinnamon dessert. It was like basically like a, a apple. And uh, it was in this crust. And then they put this like cinnamon syrup on it. And it was grade A delectable. And they did away with it. Sold them all the time. Went great with a Frosty. Got rid of it. That make any sense. I was talking to somebody yesterday and they were telling me how carcinogens and uh, whatnot creep in whenever you burn anything. And we got onto the subject of burning marshmallows. And I said, there is no way that burning a marshmallow creates anything that could cause cancer, even in the slightest degree. Otherwise, it wouldn't make any sense as to why we do it. Because nothing in America causes cancer that we enjoy right i mean in that in that kind of what we we built this city on as jefferson starship would say and i've noticed on the old tiktok that there are a lot of birth defects in this world and most of them are in impoverished places like india and uh you know thailand and asia middle east whatnot and I don't know what the reason is. Is it because of our prenatal care is so stellar? I, it makes no sense, but there are some crazy birth defects that go on. Um, the stuff that we have in the States is nothing compared to what you see, at least on the TikTok. And unless you're actively engaged in a heated battle on the tennis courts, no one should ever wear a visor under any circumstances whatsoever. Anybody that wears a visor should not be your friend. Post haste.